Assalamu alaikum. The Christians believe in one God, the Jews believe in one God, the Muslims believe in one God. Somebody said to me that there's a few ways to get to the mountain. Why should he follow the Islamic path to submit to that only one God? Thank you. Sister has the question that the Jews believe in one God, the Christians believe in one God, the Muslims believe in one God. All lead to God. So why follow only Islam? That was sister the basis of the talk was that Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, three men, one mission. All what we talk about Judaism, Christianity, what Moses, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. What Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. So, if you say, I'm going to follow Judaism, if you follow Judaism, you have to believe in what Moses, peace be upon him, said. Moses said that there's a prophet to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you have to follow him. If you want to follow Christianity, you have to follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He said in Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you into all truth. So if you have to be a good Jew, you actually finally have to be a good Muslim. If you have to be a good Christian, you finally have to be a good Muslim. All these, if you have to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have to be a good Muslim. All these prophets of God that came right from starting, up to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from Adam, peace be upon him, Muhammad, all of them taught the same message. And the other superficial thing may have changed here and there a little bit. But the basic message of Tawheed, oneness of God was said. And if you follow them, you'll come to know, they said that about the finer details, more will be told to you later on. All the prophets said that. And all of them indicated that a final message, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, will be coming, a final messenger, and he'll be getting the final message, that's the glorious Quran. That's the reason, the only way, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the deen in the al Islam, the only religion, the only way of life, acceptable in the sight of Allah, is Islam. That is submitting a will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85, that if anyone desires any other religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And in the Akhirah, he'll be among the losers. So the religion taught by all the prophets of God was nothing but Islam. That's the reason, the only religion that the true religion is religion of Islam, that is submitting a will to Almighty God.